This big baby bath is going this month. This box used to hold a whole bunch of cards that I was given when I was younger and not only did a lot of the cards go, but now the box can go as well. Here's some art that I don't feel is up to par for selling. So I am going to declutter this. Welcome back to another what I decluttered this month. My theme this month is the benefit of decluttering and my biggest benefit is when I declutter often and get rid of those things that I'm no longer using and don't need, it just makes it easier for me to find all of the things that I am looking for. I don't have to constantly sort through and dig through all those things that are just getting in the way because I'm decluttering them as soon as I figure out I don't need them anymore. Share with me in the comments below one of the biggest benefits you've found with consistent decluttering. Here's something I did not even know that I had anymore. In my members only group, I had a question that asked about my sentimental items. So I cracked that box open to answer the question and I found this. This is my Halloween costume from 2008 when I dressed up like a Playboy bunny. So I think that this can go at this point. I did not even know that I had this stored in my sentimental item box, but definitely it's not a sentimental item and I don't need it anymore. For all the women watching, we all know how important it is to have a bra that you like, but it's just as important to declutter the ones that don't fit right and that you don't really like. So that way I'm not having to search through all the ones that I hate to find the ones that I actually like to wear. About a year ago when I got the body pillows that my boys can switch the pillowcases out, the pillowcase came in a two pack and this was a really nice fluffy pillowcase but it went through the washer and dryer and I don't know what happened, but now it looks like a really funky, um, fuzzy thing that just lets off all kinds of lint. So I'm going to declutter this. You might've seen me wear this t-shirt in the last few videos. I bought this because I was in a desperate moment needing a shirt that I didn't care if it got paint on it or um, dirty or torn or anything like that, kind of a working shirt but it turns out that I do care what I look like even when I'm working on projects around the house. It just feels really bad to not feel good in my clothes. And this is one of those shirts, every time I wear it, it's kind of uncomfortable, the neck comes up kind of high, and the worst thing is if I see myself in a photo of this, in the mirror, catch a glimpse of myself, I just hate the way I look in this uh, shirt. And that's one thing that minimalism has taught me is life is way too short to be wasting time in clothing that makes you feel bad about yourself. So I'm decluttering this immediately because I'm done with that. And if you see any videos with me wearing this, I think you'll probably agree that this should go. When I'm saying I'm decluttering this stuff, it does not necessarily mean that it's all going to a secondhand store because a lot of it is stained or just in really bad condition. So it just means it's leaving my house. Next on the list of things I'm getting rid of are all the baby clothes that my youngest one has grown out of. I'm so sad to see these things go because they are so cute and I just loved seeing him in all of these items. Most of them were secondhand to me, but they are three to six months and he is now seven months and he's pushing wearing nine month clothes. So we are done with this stage. It's sad to see it go, but I don't have a sentimental attachment to these things because I can just imagine another super cute little baby in these items and getting some use out of them instead of sitting in my closet in a bin. That's another reason why I like to buy secondhand for baby clothes and kid clothes is they do grow super fast and recycling through the clothes really often. So I can get quite a lot of items for very inexpensive price. And the thing with that is I don't feel as bad because they've already been used. I'm using them again and then I'm passing them on to be used yet again. My six year old has grown out of this outfit plus it's getting a little bit worn out and I am not going to be saving clothes to be passed down from my six year old to my seven month old. It just does not make sense to hold on to things for that long because they were born in different seasons and it just doesn't make sense. So I am going to be donating everything and then I'm going to be getting new stuff, probably used, 
as my youngest will need it. This is going, and the nice thing about that is also I'm not having to store a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just getting things as I need it, and I can keep it as minimal as possible. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but this shirt, I don't know what happened to it. It's had a rough life. It was worn quite a lot, but there's so much staining now, and even though we want to use our stuff up until it's completely not able to be worn anymore, when things get horribly stained, I just don't want my kids walking around like that. It just looks really bad, and they're grown out of these um, at this point because I wanted them to just use them up through the summer and use them as clothes just to play in, but I'm not going to have them keep wearing these because they're now in school, and I just think it's a little nicer to have clean stuff that isn't severely stained. Here is a breastfeeding cover, which I'm not doing anymore, so I don't need it, but I was using it as a blanket, but we have so many little blankets and covers that I don't need this anymore. Here's something that was passed down to us, and I love if we can get passed down clothes that we can use right away. This was something that I had held onto for a really long time. It was passed down to us years ago. It was in the hand-me-down box, so I saved it even for this summer, even though I got rid of all the other hand-me-downs, used what we could out of them, and then passed them on to a friend that could use them. I saved this because I thought the boys would be into this by now, but even this slim fit size uh, 12 is still not fitting my boys. So instead of holding on to this for another few years and having it being shifted through the drawers, I'm just gonna let it go. This is pretty funny. It's a Jack Daniels bottle holder. So when you go and buy certain things, especially if they're seasonal, they sometimes come in a little holder. And I think my husband got some Jack Daniels for Christmas. He had the bottle in here. I was cleaning and organizing my kitchen at the very back. I pulled this out to see what was in here and I pulled the bottle out and there was this much liquid in the bottle and I brought it to his attention. I said, why are we saving a bottle that's empty in a bag? And he said, I didn't even know the bottle was empty. So that's the problem <laughs> when things are concealed. So I'm going to get rid of this and I've already recycled the bottle. Here are two really soft baby blankets, but I realize I already have about five. So I am going to pass these two on. They're really giant and I didn't use them as much as I have used the other blankets. Plus I feel we're moving out of that newborn stage where we need to wrap him all the time. Here's a book I had with my sentimental items. I decided to let it go. It was from my best friend when I moved to New Zealand. It's a book all about New Zealand culture, but I feel like I know enough about that now. So I'm gonna pass this to the secondhand store. Hopefully someone else can get some use out of this and I definitely loved getting this as a gift. It was used, but I do not need to keep this. Here we have the cutest little booties ever, and I just loved these. I was thinking of keeping them as a sentimental item. I'm still on the fence, but I think I'm going to let them go just because I have them and someone gave them to me doesn't mean that I need to keep them, and I have the pictures of my sons wearing these, and I just think I can let them go and let another baby use these. I just found this random cinch bag. I think it was something my dad had was getting rid of and I took to store something or maybe the boys had it and it's just never been used. It was in with my party supply stuff so this can go. And then we just have a ton more baby clothes. As soon as I find something getting a little bit tight on my youngest son Levi, I put it straight into this box where it will sit until I make this video and then be given away. I just find that I don't wanna keep anything that doesn't currently fit him really well because it just gets in the way. And then I will also feel like I have plenty of clothes and then I go to get him dressed and I find there's nothing there. With the season changing from summer to fall, even though it's still really hot here in California, I am planning on doing a full closet reset and declutter for myself. And that is when I will take you through and show you what I'm keeping and what I might buy. But I was thinking of adding to this video what I purchase each month. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. I have a channel that I love to watch. It's called Mini Mom. I will link it down below. And she just started a series which is what she buys each month as a minimalist. And while I haven't been keeping track this last month, I know there are two things off the top of my head that I have purchased this last month because I saw them and I thought, if I don't get it now, I know it won't be in the store when I come back. Even though it's the beginning of fall, 
I find when you shop for clothes, usually by the time I go back when it actually is fall or winter, they don't have any of the winter stuff out. They have all the spring and summer stuff out. I don't really understand that, but that just seems to be how it is. And I was in Costco and I found two things. These two items that I purchased, they still have the tags on them actually because I want to make sure that I 100% want them and I'm going to try them on with some of my other clothes to make sure when I go through and do the wardrobe video. But this is just a puffer vest that I thought would be perfect for around the house when it's freezing in our house and that way I don't have to have the heater cranking. It's kind of hard to see, but it's just a really nice black sweater. It's long and it has pockets. This will actually replace another sweater that I have that's getting really balled up and super worn out. If you want to see even more videos, I have a vlog channel where I do projects. We're currently redoing my mom's bedroom and I do a lot of around the house videos and projects about about our house being fixed up and that sort of thing. I've also started a members only option where I'm putting up some extra videos answering your questions, bloopers, and some videos where my mom and I discuss simple living, decluttering, and all that sort of thing. So I will link all that down below. Thank you for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with anyone who might be able to get something out of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.